They're the number one team in the country, but we came in feeling as though that if we played uh, to the level uh, that we needed to and made the plays that we needed to, that we had a chance to win uh, this basketball game. And that was our mindset coming in to win, not play close. Well, the Tigers said no moral victories, but after taking number one Oklahoma down to the wire, LSU learned they can compete with just about anyone in the country. It was a good opportunity for us to play a team like this, and uh, you know we're maturing every game. I don't really believe people felt that we would even be in the game. So just to come out and show that as a team, we can complete a mission as a team. It was a, it was a big competition, it was a, a big game, but at the same time we came to play, it just fell short. Sure, the Tigers would have liked to have given the second largest crowd in PMAC history what would have been the largest win since beating Duke in the 2006 NCAA tournament. And even if LSU fans left dissatisfied, Saturday's atmosphere alone was worth waiting in those long lines. As a kid, just growing up, you see a lot of games like this on television, uh, watching basketball and stuff, and you just picture yourself in that moment. The gym was loud. We just wanted to get a win, and we fell in short. Yeah, yes, sir, it was loud. Nah, no, I, I, I figure it's going to be loud just watching the football games and uh, how crazy it is. Tiger fans still have something to cheer for. Even though LSU has a lot of work left on the table, there's a lot of season left to play. And when the Tigers watch film from their two-point loss against the Sooners, they'll see a battle between two talented basketball teams. What we'll take from it is being able to play at that level against that caliber of competition night in and night out and see what happens. I'm pretty sure we continue to play at that level. If they're the number one team, like Coach said, how close are we? Well, that desired road to the tournament doesn't get any easier for LSU as they now travel to Auburn on Tuesday to take on the Tigers. Reporting from the PMAC, I'm Taylor Curette, Tiger TV Sports.